Welcome everyone to a special episode of Tea Time. There you go. So guys, uh, this uh, this person here knows needs no introduction. Canadian professional tennis player Gabby Dabrowski. Gabby, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us. No worries. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So uh, yeah, let's let's get right into it. Uh, first okay. Question, first question: uh, What inspired you to become a professional tennis player? Um, probably just being good at something when I was young. <laughs> uh, I always liked uh, I liked all sports growing up. Um, I swam. I played just a little bit of soccer with friends and volleyball with my dad. So I was always into athletics, but tennis took precedence pretty early on. I'd say it was kind of like my full-time thing since about nine, <laughs> I think. Yeah. So I started playing when I was seven, but of course then there are like those two years where you're just taking lessons and then you're doing these like kids clinics. So I think it was just um, through my teen years, when people were saying, oh, like, you should try to be professional, you have a lot of potential. Um, so I think it just kind of, and I was like, I want to be exactly like them. There wasn't really that sort of specific moment, you know? Okay, awesome, awesome. So, uh, yes, so yeah, you uh, definitely uh, have the passion to become a, to, a professional tennis player. Um, so your illustrious career thus far, uh, you faced many opponents. If you, if you could play against three tennis players, in the history of tennis, you could pick any any one of them. Who would those three tennis players be? Um, singles. Um, I always loved watching Kim Kleisters and Justine Hennen, the two Belgium girls. <laughs> and then in doubles, I would like to play against Andy Murray. <laughs> Great. Great choice. The, the England sensation, absolutely. Were you able to meet Andy Murray ever? Did you ever get to meet him? Or Yeah, I did, actually. He probably wouldn't remember, uh, but I met him in Acapulco. Uh, I don't even know if he knew that I was a tennis player because I had gone out with uh, my friends in Acapulco to this really nice restaurant up on this hill, and ap apparently it was like a, a player spot also for the tournament many years ago. And he was there with his whole team, and my friend and I, we really liked him, so we were really nervous <laughs> to, like, go up and say something. <laughs> but after a couple drinks, we got the courage, and we went up, and uh, I was like, hi, I'm Gabby. I just want to say, like, I really admire you. <laughs> we were just, you know, very, I was really nervous, but we took a photo, and that was cool, so. Wow, amazing, amazing. So <laughs> glad you could meet uh, Andy Murray. Um, moving along, uh, you have so many uh, titles and accomplishments uh, in your career thus far. What, I know it's a little question, Gabby, what has been the biggest accomplishment in your tennis career so far? Uh, making the Olympics. That's definitely the biggest one. So in Rio in 2016, that was the highlight of my tennis career for sure. Absolutely. Uh, is there is there another um, accomplishment as well that you that comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, winning uh, mixed doubles Grand Slams was amazing. Making the finals of women's doubles at Wimbledon last year was also a really cool feeling to be out there on center court. But um, I I just think the Olympics kind of takes the cake. Even though we didn't, we we only won one round, Jeannie and I in doubles, but. The whole atmosphere you know it feels like the culmination of all of your hard work summed up into like one week and like a few moments and walking out with your country and having i think canada had maybe about 300 300 or so athletes you know all together and then the crowd is like chanting canada canada and it's just so like for me that moment even though we don't we didn't medal or anything that still takes the cake for me absolutely the rio olympics uh dream for all of us um, so I have to ask, um, you faced, look, look, I went back to the question number two, you faced many opponents. Who are the toughest opponents you ever faced, whether it's singles or doubles? Who are the toughest opponents? Um, man, there's been a lot, but most recently I would say in doubles, it's been, 
of Su Wei Shea and Barbara Strakova. They're uh, the number one doubles team in the world right now. And so I've played them a few times in the last few years and I've always struggled against them. Uh, they're very good singles players, but also they're very double savvy. So they have, you know, a strong baseline game, but also very strong net game. And strategically, they're quite smart. They have a good balance between each other. So I think they would be my my toughest opponents um, most recently. Yeah. In, in singles, I haven't played enough singles in the last few years to really say. Um, so I'll have to, hopefully I play more singles within the next few years and then I can let you know <laughs> who's been the toughest then. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I have, uh, I have to ask just for the viewers, uh, Gabby, uh, what are the favorite hobbies you like to do? I, I know you've, uh, saw a video where you did some baking, uh, that's <laughs> that taught you, but like, what are your favorite hobbies off the court? Honestly, it's not anything in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm so Thanks. bad. Same with me. everything really <laughs> yeah no it's uh i joke that i was wife material but i'm really not wife material <laughs> in terms of <laughs> if you want to stereotype that but uh no i love to read i love listening to podcasts it's one thing i do a lot and it's really good when you travel um to to have your podcast like downloaded and that's something i do at the airport on the airplane um going to and from tennis courts it just helps to pass the time and you don't feel so lonely because a lot of time we travel alone um i also like you know binge watching tv i love my netflix <laughs> i love catching up on all that good stuff too um what else yeah i think those those are like the main few ones that i have oh that's awesome binge watch on netflix is perfect time to do it right <laughs> i <Uh> know <laughs> Uh, one, one more question I have to ask. If, is it, if there's one thing that uh, you would like to change, whether it's in your career or life, if you can look back in the past, I know the saying is, can't look in the past, but what if, so you got to forget about that. But just for fun, if you could change one thing in your life, uh, what, would that, what would that have been? Ooh, that's a tough question. Maybe, maybe I would have gone to college. Um, I think... When I was younger, you know, I uh, I was a little bit more of a sheltered kid, and I'm an only child, so my I feel like my true personalities only come out after I've been on the road by myself, meeting new people, making new friends. So I think that maybe my true self would have come out earlier had I had the experience of college and had those connections and that nice sense of community and that kind of thing. So I think that's one thing looking back. I think... I think that would have been a cool thing to have done for sure. Absolutely. I don't know if Nora told you this, but I already have five degrees. So uh, if you need any advice about like <laughs> university life. <laughs> you know, I, I just started um, some university courses. And so I might take you up on that because I've only taken four so far. Uh, some have been easier than others, but yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> you might be I, I, hearing I, from me, You're like I'm struggling. Call me help. <laughs> I definitely will. I, uh, my mom says I wasted her money on that. Oh I, no, I'm sure uh, that's not true. Oh no, it's not. It's a, it's a great experience, and uh, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, you'll definitely be able to experience it. Um, yeah. So, uh, Gabby, uh, so every uh, show we have a fun trivia to end the show. Okay. So, are you ready for some? Tennis trivia on Tea Time oh, with Tommy. Man. <laughs> I don't know, but let's try. <laughs> let's go. If we, if, we, if we need uh, help, we'll, we can call uh, Nora and see uh, if she can answer these, if we need uh, help on this. <laughs> let's go uh, to question number one. All right, guys. Trivia with Gabby Dabrowski. Question number one. How many Grand Slam titles does Serena Williams have? 23. Wow. That's it. Yes, 23 yes. <laughs> Grand Slam single titles. The only reason I know that is because most recently I know that she's going for number 24. That's the only reason I knew it was 23. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> Great. I wouldn't have got it, Gabby. If, you, if, it's, if the tables were turned, you asked me that, I would have got it wrong. I wouldn't even know. Great <laughs> job. Great job. Question number two. What is Novak Djokovic's nickname? What's his nickname? Joko. Oh, yes. Oh, oh <laughs> yes. Joker, yeah, Joko, right. I think it's uh, Joko. Yes, uh, Joko, that means Joker. Joko or Joker, yeah. Got it. You got it. Boom. Okay. Two, two, <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> uh, 
I, uh, I don't want to put any pressure, but only 11 people in the history of Tea Time got perfect on the trivia. But I believe in you, and so does Nora. So let's okay. continue. <laughs> you'll get, you'll get, you'll get. Question number three. What city is Bianca Adrescu from? Toronto. I'll give it to you. I mean, uh, do you know specifically the GTA? Uh, the, the cities in the GTA? The major cities. It's a uh, major GTA city. Oh, I don't know. Mississauga. <laughs> oh, no, you got it. That's it. Really? That's it. Saga, <laughs> Ontario. Three for three, Gabby. See, see, it helps you out there. Like, I didn't just say you were wrong. I'm, I kept going and saying, okay, what? See that? I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you. Three for three. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Question number four. Who did Rafael Nadal defeat to win his first Grand Slam singles title? Now, here's the hint. This, this is a well-known player. It's, it's not some uh, baloney tennis player. He's a, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's a baloney tennis player, but it will help if it's a big name over maybe somebody I might not have remembered. K. Huge. And he's still playing. He what? He's still playing. I just gave you two huge hints now. <laughs> Is it Roger Federer? Yes! Four for four now. Come on. One more and you will become our 11th. Perfect okay. tea time trivia win. <laughs> All right, heat is on. Let's do this drum roll time. Last question. This is true or false, so it's good. It's a 50-50. Okay. Did Anna Kornikova date NHL legend Pavel Bure while Anna Kornikova was in her prime uh, early 2000s did she date NHL hockey player Pavel Bure true or false false oh <laughs> that's true I used to good to be true I don't remember her dating him I remember her dating Enrique Iglesias <laughs> yeah, she did too. yeah, good point. Oh, my fault. You know what? The viewers can blame me for that, Gabby. That was a little ridiculous. That was, that was a long time ago. It was a little ridiculous question. Because I'm a big Pavel Bure fan. So that's why oh, okay. I asked that question. I don't um, even know him. <laughs> no, it's, it was a long time ago. My fault. But four that's for five. Okay. Yeah, not that's bad, a, not bad. Amazing, amazing job, Gabby. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I just, once again, uh, thank you so much for taking your time of your busy schedule to join us. Uh, before we go, would you like to uh, tell the viewers how they can uh, follow you on social media and, and uh, what else is up next for you in your uh, career? Sure, yeah. I'm on um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Instagram and Twitter, we're just waiting to see if the tour is going to start up again. I'm on the WT Player Council, and it's been a pretty stressful time because we're trying to make sure that all players are being looked after as best as possible but obviously within these times you don't have as many tournaments um as we normally would so we can't cater to all groups of tennis players for all rankings you know and so that's that's been really tough to to deal with because we want to make it as fair as possible when we do return to play so it's just a lot of debate back and forth and what to do so kind of in limbo right now, a little bit in limbo, but we'll see where it goes. Hopefully something positive will come out, but uh, safety first. I think safety has to always be number one and health always has to be number one. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, all right. So, well, I want to just uh, hold, stay uh, there, Gabby, but I just want to say thank you again for joining us for the show. And thank you, everyone, for joining thank us. Thank you. Another great episode of Tea Time <laughs> with Tommy. Delicious. So much, guys. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a good one. <laughs>